okay so let's go over the solutions for the uh, quiz on um, uh, Ford for question algorithm all right so we were given this graph with all these edge capacities okay so the first step is to draw the serial graph where for every edge you have here you have an edge um, here that indicates the flow that has been sent on that edge so far and the available capacity so for this edge from S to A, the flow, the available capacity is 14 and nothing has been sent yet on this edge. So this is to start with. So there is a dual graph. So you have 0 slash 14 to indicate that 0 is the flow that has been sent on that edge and 14 is the available capacity. And for every edge you have here, uh, you also have a back edge now that indicates, um, well, um, like if you are sending something from S to A, uh, a can send back uh, that to S. So initially to start with the flow and available capacity on the back edge is 0, 0. Right? So similarly from A to B it is 0 slash 16 and then from B to A you have a back edge 0, 0. So no flow and no available capacity on the back edges to start with in the residual graph. Similarly B to D you have uh, 0 to zero 08 so 0 is your flow and 8 is the capacity and uh, no flow and capacity so you draw the serial graph like this right so now find a path from the source to the sink S to D so let's say you have a path S A B D so the path um, has an available capacity on this edge you have 14 this edge you have 16 and this edge you have 8 so you can send only the minimum of the available capacity on this link or so edges so the available uh, the capacity the flow that you can send is actually eight units of flow so that really saturates this edge from b to d so the available capacity uh, the flow that is sent on this edge is now eight and the available capacity is zero right so uh, on this edge from s to a you have an available capacity of 14 so uh, you are sending now 8 units of flow on this so the available capacity becomes uh, 6 14 minus 8 and you are sending 8 units of flow and now on the back edges since you are sending 8 units of flow so far from S to A the back edge flow is op actually the opposite of sign of what you have sent so it is negative 8 so that's the convention so when you are sending something positive flow from S to A the reverse on the back edge there's a negative flow of uh, negative 8 okay and then since you are sending something from S to A uh, of uh, 8 units of flow the capacity on the reverse edge in increases from 0 to 8 so it's like it's like S is giving some $8 to A A can now give back those $8 A has the capacity to give back those $8 to S right so that's why this 8 is uh, from 0 it increases to 8 similarly on this edge from A to B the capacity increases um, for the uh, uh, actually the capacity reduces from what 16 to 8 in the forward direction that's the edge we have from A to B so you send 8 units of flow and 8 is the remaining capacity alright and then from B to A it is negative 8, 8 and this edge is saturated so 8 units of flow is sent and 0 is the available capacity and the back edge is negative 8, 8. Alright, now uh, in the second graph you can find a path, uh, okay so on this graph you have to find a new path, right, so you can send from S, C, E, D and the available capacity on this path is 10 on this edge, 8 on this edge and 17 on this edge so again you can send only 8 units of flow which saturates this edge right so C to E um, is saturated so the flow is 8 and the available capacity is 0 and the back edge is negative 8, 8 on this edge from S to C the flow is now 0 plus 8, 8 and the available capacity is 10 minus 8 which is 2 and the back edge is now negative 8, 8. On this edge it is 8 uh, slash 9. You are sending 8 units of flow. So it increases to from 0 to 8 and then the available capacity decreases from 17 to 9. 17 minus 8 is 9 and the back edge is negative um, 8, 8. Right? So let's move on. Uh, now on this graph you have to find another path so the other path I'm going to use is so you can you go through let me see 
you can go through now from S to A to E and uh, to you cannot go this way because if you go from E to B you cannot go from B to D this edge is saturated so you have to go from E directly to D so you have six units available on this edge you have nine units available on this edge and nine units available on this edge so you could send actually six units of flow the minimum of six nine and nine so that comes out to be um, six right so you can send six more units of flow so that is eight plus six is fourteen that saturates this edge and the back edge is negative fourteen fourteen and six units of flow on this and that makes it reduces it to three and negative six six on this and then on this edge it is uh, six units of flow is sent so this reduces from nine to three and eight uh, to eight uh, from eight to send six units of flow so it is fourteen so fourteen slash three and negative fourteen fourteen so this is now the augmenting path so each path you use is uh, to send a positive flow is an augmenting path now let's see if there's anything avail else available on this any other augmenting path on this residual graph now so this edge is saturated so you cannot go from s to a so let's see from s to c you could go here but this edge is saturated but you can go from c to b here right now uh, i have seen people stopping with this graph thinking there's no more path available because when you go from c to b you cannot go from b to d but there's a catch here you see there is this back edge which with a positive available capacity so what you could do is you could go from s to c c to b and then go from b to a on this back edge with a positive available capacity so then from a you can now go to e with uh, a because this edge has capacity three and then from e you can now go to d on this edge of capacity three so all you have to find is um, uh, actually this is an error okay so this is the path so s to c right c to b and then b to a and then a to e and then e to d so it's a long path uh, but that is feasible because each edge has positive capacity two uh, two is the available capacity on this edge from s to c c to b is how much 12 units of flow that's fine b to a is 8 units of flow capacity available then a to e is 3 units of capacity and e to d is 3 units of capacity so the minimum is 2 12 8 3 3 so the minimum among this is 2 right so you send 2 units of flow that saturates this edge so 10 slash 0 and this is negative 10 10 that's what it is and then 2 units of flow from c to b so it is 2 slash 10 and negative to 2 so now this is where it is from B to A you are sending two units of flow from B to A so the flow on this actually it is going to be negative 8 plus 2 you're sending a positive flow so negative 8 plus 2 is negative 6 and the available capacity reduces from 8 to 6 8 minus 2 is 6 so on the reverse direction you see here you're sending a positive flow of 2 from b to a so you have to subtract flow from what negative 2 right so 8 minus 2 is going to be 6 and now this is actually like b is giving 2 units of flow from to a right so the capacity on this edge from a to b increases by 2 so this would be then 10 so again you're sending two units of flow from b to a so it's a positive flow of two units from b to a so every time you send a positive flow you increase your flow on the edge so that's what we did here from s to c we sent two units of flow we increase this by a from 8 to 10 8 plus 2 is 10 similarly it was 0 before and 0 plus 2 was 2 similarly it was negative 8 here from b to a you increase by 2 negative 8 plus 2 is going to be negative 6 and when you send a positive flow on that edge you decrease the capacity by the how much you're sending so you're sending two units of flow so from b to a you're decreasing the capacity from eight to six eight minus two is six now in the opposite direction from a to b you are uh, going to reduce the flow because you're sending a positive flow from b to a so from a to b it's going to be eight minus two which is a six and the capacity increases so if you're giving something from b to a the capacity of a to b is going to increase so in this case by two units so eight plus two is ten okay 
All right, so then from A to E, you have three units of available capacity. You decrement by two, so that's going to be one unit of available capacity, and the flow increases from six to eight. And then from E to D, it's going to be two units of flow, so capacity decreases from three to one, and then 14 plus two is going to be 16. And the uh, back edges are like this. All right, so now let's see if you have a path here. You cannot because this H from S to A is saturated and this H from S to Z is saturated, so that's it, right? So on the final flow graph, which is basically the original graph, you indicate how much of available capacity is used on all these edges. So on this edge from S to A, all the capacity is being used, so the flow is sent on this edge is 14 and the available capacity is zero. On this edge, you see now it is six units of flow actually and then 10 units is available capacity. So it's basically like so far A was sending eight units of flow to B and then B is sending back the two units of flow to A. Okay, so the net flow from A to B is actually six units of flow. That's what it means, all right? And uh, 10 is available capacity and then from A to E, it's going to be eight units of flow, one, and then everything is from the last residual graph. Now, if, um, okay, so it may, should be clear, so on C to B it is 2 slash 10 and C to E 8 slash 0 because 8 units of flow has been sent and 0 is available capacity. And E to D is 6 units of flow and 1 unit of available capacity, right? Alright, so if you add up all the flows we have sent, we have sent 8 units of flow here, 8 units of flow here, uh, 6 units of flow on this blue, so every iteration, the uh, current augmenting path I indicated the blue color and the previous ones I indicated the red color so this I should have indicated this is the blue color I'm sorry uh, so this is the previous this is the current augmenting path and this is the current augmenting path and this is the blue no, sorry red one with the previous one and this is the uh, current augmenting path so if you add up all the flows that you have sent you have sent eight units here eight units here six units here and then two units on the last path like this right so that's going to be <coughs> eight plus eight plus six plus two that is twenty four now you want to find the minimal cut the minimal cut how do you find you want to find the set of vertices that are reachable from s and not reachable from s now you see from s you cannot go to a and c so if you cannot go to A and C from S, you cannot really go to any of the other vertices. So S is basically in its own set, and you have A, B, C, D, E, the other vertices on the other set. And so there are only two edges now. So from S to A is one edge, and S to C is one edge. The capacity, the original capacity on these two edges is 14 and 10. That's what I have here. So this is our minimal cut. So if you add up these two edge weights, that should be also equal to 24. Okay, so that's our minimal cut. So I'll stop with this for this question.